So here we have the 2017 Chrysler Pacifica. This is a premium minivan. It starts around $36,000 in Canada, goes up to more than $60,000. As you see it here, this is about uh, $53,000. Now its main rival is actually right in the stable, uh, the Dodge Grand Caravan. Now these start around less than $25,000 in Canada. This one, as you see here, is around 30,000, very well equipped. Now, can FCA afford to have two sibling minivans in its stable? Well, why don't I ask my own sibling, Norman Verano, who owns this? How are you? <laughs> Good, how are you doing? Good. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about the Pacifica, first well, of all? Uh, it looks nice. Um, really $50,000? Well, why don't we take a drive in both of these and we'll compare. Yeah, let's do it. All right. So what I'd like to ask is what vehicle did you have before and why did you buy this car, the Grand Caravan? Well, we had a 2011 Acadia and uh, it was nice. We enjoyed it, but it was kind of big and bulky and it was actually quite impractical when you get kid seats in it. So we needed to do the practical thing and nothing is as practical as a van. <laughs> When you buy a van, you realize that some things come with the territory. You're buying into a kind of a value and, and a practicality. And to that end, this van has served us so far very well. It does the job and uh, it, it does as it's designed to do, which is to haul people around in relative comfort, I, I suppose. Mm -hmm. What I like about it is that I can tip the seats forward in the back and uh, flatten out the back and put in a sheet of plywood or some tools or that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. And then I can go home and flip the seats up again and put in the car seats and then it's back to doing family duty you know yeah. a lot of people have asked me in the past uh, like what SUV is best for the family yeah. and and I'll always tell them it's a minivan and it's not an SUV at all yeah but you know they need to get over the psychological barrier of buying a minivan why don't we go back to the parking lot and we can try the Pacifica with its option packages and uh, see what you think what if I like that car too much I have to bring it back So this is the uh, 2017 Chrysler Pacifica. It feels a little more like a car to me. Really? I, I don't feel yes. as high on the road. Yes, yes. Um, it's got a nice clean design inside. I think everything's well laid out, kind of nicely pointed, I think. This thing comes with like a swath of safety features, like the adaptable cruise control, a whole bunch of stuff. So I mean, if you've got a family, a lot of people would find that very important. They're really attempting to make a, an upscale or upmarket van. I can't fault Chrysler for building this Pacifica because it's a really nice van, good features, good design. The question is though, is this going to replace the Grand Caravan? Right. So far, FCA has said that uh, the Grand Caravan will be built up until at least 2019. And after that, they're very vague, but we don't know what lays in store for the yeah. Grand Caravan. Yeah, I think there's always gonna be a market for these kinds of lower priced vans because of the fact that they're geared towards young families. Um, generally, people are in early stages of their careers when they have vans. They have lower incomes, they have higher house debts. The idea of dropping 60000 on a van is not terribly appealing. All right, Norman, we've uh, driven both these cars. Basically, they both do the same job for a family, but as a family guy, which one would you take? Well, value is a big thing when you're buying a minivan. And what you want to do is get your family from A to B. And you want to do it with some comfort. And you want something that's dependable. And I'd have to go with mine because I don't think it would be worth the extra 30000 just to have a few little accessories. Well, I have to say that last year in Canada, almost 52,000 people agreed with you. Uh, and in fact, the Dodge Caravan was the fourth best-selling car in Canada for 2016. Doesn't surprise me. I mean, you can't drive down the street without seeing one all the time. All right. For Driving.ca, I'm Neil Verano. And I'm Norman Verano.